Under a controversial Michigan law, a person who drugs and rapes their spouse could be protected from criminal charges. Now, the Michigan legislature is working to change that. Earlier this week, the House unanimously passed a bill to close that loophole. Currently, marital rape is banned in all 50 states, but there are three exceptions that are explicitly outlined in Michigan law. That's State Representative Lori Pahutsky, who sponsored the bill. Those three exceptions she's talking about can protect someone from criminal charges. They are if the spouse is under 16 years old, if the person is mentally incapable or mentally incapacitated. Mentally incapacitated is defined as someone who has been drugged without their consent. Uh, so that is a very clear cut definition uh, and it is very easy to just strike that out of the law and close that loophole. So really HB 4699 closes a loophole in Michigan law that allows for marital rape in some circumstances, namely when the person is drugged without their consent. In Michigan and across the United States, instances of marital rape still go underreported. And according to the National Resource Center on Domestic Violence, about one third of women report having unwanted sex with their partner. It's important to note that marital rape can happen to men as well. It's one of those crimes that goes unreported. Uh, sexual assault is one of the most underreported crimes in general. And so when you add marriage onto that and that stigma that once you're married, that person has control over your body, um, that's been a social stigma um, from way back in the times. End Violent Encounters, a Lansing-based shelter and service provider for those experiencing domestic violence, is supportive of this new legislation, Dreyer tells me. I'm glad to see that we're kind of getting away from that ideology and that we have these bills that will help support and move that forward. Like I said, sexual assault's already an underreported crime and it's also very hard to prove, and so removing that obstacle for survivors is very important. The work to close the loophole isn't done just yet. The Senate still needs to vote on it and get the governor's signature. For now, I'm your Capitol reporter, El Myers, Fox 47 News.